Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, Amber Kivett here, and today I'm wanting to share with you a workout that we can do for recovery, for mobility, and for just generalized toning. Um, I think a lot of times we think we have to go hard all the time, and part of the benefits of doing recovery, there's a lot of different things that come out of recovery, um, a lot of different ways that you can do recovery, but most importantly, it's about equalizing out your central nervous system. So we are very reactionary. Uh, the kickboxing is all about bouncing off the walls when you're thinking about um, the workout. That's why a lot of people love kickboxing because of the energy that it uh, builds up inside, allows you to get rid of negative uh, energy, but um, a lot of energy that goes into it. And so you can only keep up with that so long before you have to allow your body to come back down into a recovery state. So recovery workouts are very, very important. Um, those of you that are now waking up in the morning and you're really stiff moving around, your body is not moving the way it used to 10 years ago or maybe even two years ago. Um, but nonetheless, today's workout is more about recovery, rejuvenation, um, revitalization, just opening the body up and really digging deep inside yourself to feel what you feel within your, within your own body. Um, I have the B3 blood flow resistance bands on today. You don't have to work out hard, don't have to work out at all when you wear those for 20 minutes a day. But by wearing them, they're increasing the surge in the growth hormone release that your body naturally does on its own. Um, and by the way that the, the bands work physiologically, it uh, induces the pituitary gland to release human growth hormone, which slowly depletes um, after we, you know, turn 30. And so I'm in my early 40s, and so I'm noticing my body and my metabolism are really starting to slow down a little bit. So I'm trying to give my body every possible advantage um, to be able to stay ahead of that curve. And so the B3 bands are one of my secrets for that. Um, the other secret is the Life Pro Whole Body Vibration Platforms. Um, I'm not going to be demonstrating those during this workout today, but what we are going to do is uh, I work with a lot of clients who have issues with their shoulders and their neck and their hips and their back. Um, many people have had, uh, many ladies have had hysterectomy or have had woman issues, uh, women issues through their reproductive system. So um, I am one of those individuals and as soon as I had my surgery, my total hysterectomy, uh, my whole body just changed. Like the way that it loads, the way that it feels, um, metabolism, everything affects, you know, um, how our body moves if we've had an injury or if we've had a surgery. So recovery is really, really important. And so that's what today's workout is going to be. And I'm going to be doing this barefoot. Um, I've got my mats behind me. I've got a variety of different tools that I'm going to be showing um, how to use. If you don't have the tools, that's okay. But the most important thing is that we are really in tune with what our body feels. Um, and, and with that, our mind, we, we are trying to minimize our stress and we are trying to maximize the optimal output of our bodies. Um, and so there's meditation that goes into recovery workout, like what do you feel, where are you limited, what can't you do, and celebrating what you can do. So um, you're only as strong as your weakest point and you're only as efficient as your sloppiest movement pattern. So we're gonna work a variety of different, different areas today. Um, I'm gonna to work tw 20 minutes with the bands on and then the last 10 minutes is going to be deep mobility work where we're really loosening up and opening up our, our joints and our fascial lines. Um, and just today's all about feeling good and recovering. And then we'll jump back into the hardcore stuff uh, the rest of the week where we're going hard, getting that heart rate up, um, working on you know, getting lean muscle mass and shredding some weight. So, but for today, we're just gonna lay low and do a little more recovery. So, um, I've got my lights, my lights turned off because of the glare. So I'll turn those on here in just a second and I'm gonna turn on some music and we're gonna just uh, go through, go with the flow. Uh, but we're gonna do as many joints in our body as possible. So I hope you enjoy this. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and turn on some music. Now for me, I like to work out with music because I like to move to the beat. So that's why I've got some fast paced music. When we get into more of the mobility and the stretching at the end, I'll turn on some more meditational relaxation music so that you can really tune in, side with what your body is telling you. You're tapping into your whispers. Um, your body will talk to you if you just calm things down and listen. So, 
Let's go ahead and start with the big green ball. Okay, big green ball. We're gonna put this ball in between our knees, in between our legs. If you don't have a green ball, if you happen to have a towel, you can squeeze this towel just the same. Squeezing, okay? We're getting our inner thighs working and we're trying to induce our pelvic floor to work, all right? If you don't have a big green ball, a kickball works just fine at home. I know the glare is killing in here. Working on getting some lighting for these things. All right, so from here, your feet are grounded. We're moving our toes, our toes are spread. All I want you to do, I want you to think about holding your pee and holding your poo. You have to go to the bathroom really bad. And so what are you gonna do? You're gonna do everything you can to not leak, right? So when we do that, we activate our most powerful structure in our body, our pelvic floor. So we're tightening here as we're squeezing with those inner thighs. So I don't want you to squeeze with the knees. I want you to squeeze with the whole leg, all right? We're using and integrating in our feet. We can feel our feet. We're squeezing, holding our pee, holding our poo. That's, that's the cue. <laughs> really nice. Now, if you have a whole body vibration platform at home, you can do this on the platform. It feels really good when you do it. That's it, you should feel those butt muscles starting to activate a little bit more. Good. Awesome. We're burning, we're feeling. Nice job. All right, right here, all right? We're gonna sink just a little bit deeper, so we're gonna squat just a tad deeper. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Good. So drop it a little deeper. Try and pop that ball. Adjust your feet as you need to. Oh, we holding our pee. Don't let it out, don't leak. So those of you that have incontinence issues at home, this is gonna help those. Okay, really trying to pop that ball with our inner thighs. We're not trying to squeeze it with our knees. Nice. A little quicker. There's the burn. That's it. Now, the fun Amber likes to get a little jam going. So, you can move to the beat if you want to while you're squeezing. It's all about having fun while we're experiencing the burn. Okay? So whatever you need to do to have some fun, wiggle a little bit extra, squeeze that ball, stand a little taller, dropping it down, bringing it back up. Good. Hold, squeeze. There's the burn. Five, four, Three, two, one, rise. It's a little taller, not all the way. Squeeze it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand it tall. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Woo! All right. We're going to go down to the floor. All right? And from here, kind of the same thing, but you're going to feel that much deeper in that pelvic floor. So, ball is in between the knees. Feet are together. Feet are together. We're just going to start from a seated upright position so we can all see me smiling at you today. Some of you, that might be the only smile you get to see. But we're squeezing while we're sitting up. Trying to pop that ball with our thighs. Now, if you're starting to cramp, you can take those feet further away and you can squeeze there. Everything that you do to change the angle of your feet from your butt is going to change which muscles are working harder and which ones get to take a break. So find your happy zone and squeeze to pop that ball. That's it. Some of you might want to feel it really high up near the groin on those inner thighs. Those of you that are wanting to feel that, 
bring those knees a little closer to you. Those of you that want to feel it further all the way throughout the leg, take those feet further away, and you're going to feel it more throughout the whole leg. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. All right. If you have a mini band, okay, you're going to grab a mini band. It doesn't matter what color it is. Find a level that's challenging enough for you. For me, these are Perform Better bands. The green is my favorite. If you are a Life Pro user, pick your red or your blue band. All right, we're gonna put that on around our lower legs, all right? And from here, we're just tapping. Tapping while we stabilize. Switching sides right here. All right, out, out, in, in. That's it. All right, now, watch this. We slowly drag the leg out, slowly bring it back in. Slowly take it out with control, slowly bringing it back in. Really hard to do this because you're used to that momentum. You're used to using that speed. Really grip that foot into the floor. Open and close. Open and close. Let's go other side. And here's the thing. If you love some of these exercises a lot more than others and you're really feeling them, then come back later and do more of your favorite exercises. You can come back and watch the video over and over again. Skip through the parts you don't like. Watch the parts that you love. And do a lot more of those. There's been days I've taught the same exercise for 15, 20 minutes straight to create a burnout effect with clients. So there is not too much you can do unless your body starts talking to you. So that's all about what you feel. Nice. Slide and slide. Now, this is the hard one. So brace yourselves. Correct your band if your band is wrinkled on you. Slide and open, hold, bring it in really slow. A way that you can cheat this, if you have paper plates at home and you wanna put paper plates around your, at, at the bottom of your feet and use the feet to slide out, slide, bring it in nice and slow. Slide out, bring it in close. Slide it out, bring it in close. Now, you want an added challenge, hands are up. Slide out, slide in. Now we're talking abs. Slide out, slide in. Out, woo, bring it in. We're feeling that. Out, in, out, in. Good. All right, let's add a little edge to this. If you have a yellow band, Perform Better or Life Pro band, we're gonna put the yellow band, put that around our wrist, okay? As our feet are sliding out, our hands are opening up, we're going to squeeze our shoulders down and back at the same time so we're using our back muscles and we're not using our neck muscles too much. So hands are right here in front of you. Open, slowly bring that back in. Open, slowly bring that back in. Again, we're keeping those shoulders down and back so you don't want to feel your shoulders into your neck. Nice work. Nice job. Now, if you're having trouble with this with your band, okay, what you can do is going out, just tap the knees and bring it in. Instead of going as slow as I'm going, tap and bring it in. Any kind of stimulation you can give to those shoulders while we're stabilizing using that pelvic floor, the better. We're connecting all those dots together. 
taking it out, tap, bringing it in. Nice work. All right. From here, we're going to stand it up. We're going to go from a standing position. So this is a lot different, just as challenging, but you're going to feel it different, okay? So I've got my body forward just a little bit. My butt is down into more of a squat, okay? You get wherever you're comfortable. If you're more comfortable upright, that's fine. But right here, just stepping out, stepping it in. With control. Nice. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit more to make this harder. You can use your green band, your green ball, or you can use your yellow mini band. Either one works. I'm gonna bring my paper plate or my slider back to center. Okay, all we're doing, as I'm stepping out, I'm just stabilizing here, okay? So now I'm bringing that energy up through my abdominals. I can feel it in my upper body, but all the work is taking place down low with the feet. I'm just stabilizing. Okay, so you can go hands open, you can go fist. I like the fist, it allows me to stay close, close chain. Good, five, four, three, two, last one, switching sides. Okay, step that out, give yourself a little bit of a break. Other side, tap in. And again, if you get tired of squatting and you just want to stand up and step it up, that's fine too. Good. Now, we are always forward and uh, rounded, so let's open up the chest and let's keep those arms in contact with the elbows, to, in contact with the sides, and just keep those hands open. So, not inside, but we're opening up. That's it. A lot of burning here. Give me five more right here. Five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job. All right. Now we're going to take that disc and we're going to slide out very, very slow while we're stabilizing. So slide out, slide in super slow. Slide out, sliding in, super slow. Out, in, slot speed. Nice job. Oh, body's burning. You got it. That's it, five more right here. Four, three, two, last one. Nice job, switching sides. All right, now, if you're tired of holding that band down low, we can hold our hands out in front, we can open up our hands, we can go thumbs up, or the other alternative is we squeeze in. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze in on my ball, okay? If you don't have a ball, you can squeeze in on your palms. So we're creating energy, pushing hard in with our palms, driving that energy through our pelvic floor into our hands, head and chest is lifted high. There you go. Push hard, you're gonna feel that energy coming up all the way through the abdominals. That's it, super slow motion with lots of control. That's it. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job. All right, go ahead and take that mini band off. Now, I want you to have an object in front of you that you can reach to. Maybe it's a bottle of water. Just put that object right there in front of you. If you don't want to use your hands to touch, you can use an object in your hand, okay? But we're going to get 
balanced. I want you to spread those toes. Get yourself balanced. And from here, we're reaching forward to reach for that object and we're coming right back up nice and slow. Reaching forward, tap that object, coming back up. It's all about balance. Reaching forward, good. Now, if you can go all the way to the floor, okay? If you can go all the way to the floor, feel free to try that, much harder. That's it. Nice work. There's the fall. <laughs> it's a lot harder to do this super slow. We're recruiting a lot of muscles in our hips and in our pelvis, a lot of stabilizers. Way harder to go slow than it is to go fast. Good, and then you make it a notch harder by bringing that knee up in the front as you come through without touching. And again, if you have a vibration platform, you can do this on your vibration platform as well. Very challenging to do, but very rewarding. Let's do three more right here. Three. Here's two. Last one. Oh, almost bit it there. Ha <laughs> ha. Bringing it through. Nice job. Woo! Give that booty a pat. All right, let's switching sides. So right here, we're getting grounded. Getting grounded. Reaching forward for that object. Coming back up. Regrounding. Reaching for that object. Coming back up and regrounding. That's it. Coming back up. Spread those toes. Equal balance across the whole foot. Good. Nice job. All right, now if we're gonna make it a notch harder, we're gonna touch all the way down to the ground. Only if you're ready, no rush. And if you fall at home, everybody's watching me, so you don't have to worry about it. That's it. If you fall at home, get up and try, try again, because balance is the fastest thing to train. That's it. It's hard to build strength if you don't have balance. So really gauge it on your balance. And balance is very mental. So if you think about looking at an object on the floor or maybe a speckle in your carpet or some kind of an object that's not moving, that will help ground you. Bringing that knee through. Good. One side is gonna be really natural for you and the other side is gonna be complicated. So if you're struggling on one side and you've got it the other side really good, that's to be expected. There was my fall. <laughs> Let's do three more. Here we go. Three more. You're seeing my sloppy side. That's it. Last one. There we go. Last one right here. And up. Nice job. Grab yourself a drink. Gotta stay hydrated. All right. We've got inner thighs. We've got outer thighs. We've got butt. Now we gotta do chest and arms. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you proper way to open up your shoulders on the backside so that you can maintain a push-up position. You're never too old to try this, okay? So on the back, what I want you to think about doing is squeezing those shoulder blades together and then pushing them apart. Squeeze them together, push them apart. Squeeze together, push them apart.
push apart. And now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to push apart so hard that you're trying to push the roof off of you. Trying to push the roof off of you. Push, push, push. Arms are nice and straight. Push, push, push. All right, now from here, okay? From here, we're gonna get our toes tucked underneath of us and we're gonna elevate our knees while we're pushing the ceiling off of us, all right? So, go ahead and push that ceiling off of you, push through the roof and elevate those knees. Slowly drop back down. Elevate those knees. Slowly drop back down. Now, from here, we're gonna go into a leg position straight back. So elevate, take one foot back, take the other foot back. Push as hard as you can into the floor with your hands and your feet. And then from here, slowly lower that position, lift up tall, and come back to center. All right, I'm letting you cheat this a little bit because it's about mobility and it's about being able to get the form correctly. So, from the side angle, okay? We're pushing off, elevate those knees, leg goes out, leg goes out. We are pushing, pushing, pushing. Slowly lower, press up, coming back to center and reload it. All right, elevate those knees, one leg out, one leg out, slowly lower, press, bringing those knees in, all right? Now, what can get really fun with this? As you get comfortable with lowering yourself to the ground, then you can try different positions. So you can go one hand forward, one hand back, you can go into a Y formation, you can do a lot of things. So, one hand forward, one hand back, elevating those knees, Taking those legs out long, slowly lower, press up, coming back to, switch hands. So one hand forward, one hand back. Elevate those knees, pushing your body through the roof, leg back, leg back, slowly lower, press up, back to. All right, now if any of that bothers your neck or your shoulders, Go back to basics. Back to basics is squeezing and pressing. Squeezing and separating and pressing, okay? Now, we're gonna take this onto our back because I want to teach you how to stabilize these muscles back here in the upper part of your back. A lot of times that is the reason why we have neck pain and why we're tight here. So we're gonna tighten up on the back side. I'm gonna use eight pound weights you can use whatever is comfortable for you. So maybe start with a three or a five. We've been doing these for a long time, so I'm gonna use eights. What we're gonna do is we're laying on our back, laying on our back, and from here, our hands go straight into the ceiling, all right? So what I want you to think about doing without lifting your head is just punching one dumbbell through the roof. Punch your weight through, punch your weight through. Punch your weight through. We're not bending those arms. Those arms are straight, locked out, loaded, and pushing. All right? Now, at the same time, I know you're not thinking about your belly, so here's what we're gonna, we're gonna do to mix this up a little bit. You're gonna take a disc, and you're gonna put it underneath of your back, and I want you to squash that disc with your low back. I want as much of your low back in contact with that disc, because guess what you just did? You just activated your lower abdominal wall, your pelvic floor. So from here, keep squashing that disc, push to the ceiling, pushing through the ceiling. I am not using my head or my neck for this exercise. This is strictly my mid back muscles and my shoulder stabilizers. We call these scapular punches. Some of you, this might be a little uncomfortable at first, it will get easier but it's a subtle movement. We're just getting the shoulder blade up off the floor, off the mat, and we're controlling it coming down. Now I want you to rotate and push. Rotate and push. Rotate. 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 That's it. Make sure you're squashing that disc with your low back. I know you stopped thinking about it, which means you probably slipped up there. That's okay. I'm here to remind you.
Nice job. All right, three, two, last one, right here. All right, well guess what? We're 25 minutes into this. I gotta get the cuffs off. And we're gonna get into some opening up of our joints because we've done the toning part. Now we just gotta enjoy the stretch and the release. And then when we come back to working out tomorrow, we're gonna be long and loose and ready to go. All right. So what I want you to do, you're gonna start on your hands and on your knees. From here, bring one foot up as best as you can get here. One foot up and just come up out of that position, all right? I don't care so much if this leg is off to the side or if it's closer in front of your body, okay? I want you to take your hands and push through the ceiling, push through the roof, okay? At the same time, this butt cheek behind me, this right butt cheek, my left leg is forward, my right butt cheek is back. I want you to tighten and clinch up that butt cheek. So imagine that you're about to get whacked, okay? I want you to tighten up that butt cheek. Push, tighten that butt cheek up. That's it, now lift your ribs away from your hips. Lift and separate. Lean into the wall. It's a lot to think about, I know. If you're feeling this in your belly and if you're feeling this in the front of your hip, you're doing it right. All right, now take this leg over here to the side, okay? Arms come up, leaning into. Now we feel this even more all the way up here through the sides. Pushing up and leaning. All right, stay right here. We're gonna take this leg out long, okay? And you're gonna turn your leg towards me, okay? From here, we're gonna sit back as we slide our hands forward. Coming back to, all right? I'm gonna slide over just a tad so you can see where my foot positioning is. So we started here. We're sliding the foot out. Rotate it forward so your foot is in contact with the floor. All right, and from here, sit back as you slide forward. If you have problems with this on your knee, you can stay more forward. Just slide those hands out in front of you as far away as you can get from your body. Nice job. All right, now from here, take this hand, we're gonna slide it under, and we're gonna look towards our foot. Looking towards our foot. And last but not least, this arm that's over the top of you, open it up to the sky. Opening things up. And then coming back to start. I know, you didn't think you could do that, right? And you're probably feeling some new muscles and that's great, because we want to open up those joints. We need that. So we're going back to hands and knees. Bring your foot up. Okay, just come up out of that. You can leave your leg here. You can bring it more central if you want to. Take those hands, push through the sky, and tighten up your butt cheeks. Tighten, tighten, tighten. That's it. Now lean into the wall. Nice work. Nice job from here. We're gonna take this leg to the side. Taking this leg to the side, straighten it out. And then roll that foot towards me. Toes are towards me if you can get there. And from here, we're sitting back as we're sliding those arms forward. And here's the thing, like this is not enough of a stretch for me, so I'm really gonna drive that foot away from my body as I sit back, there's the stretch. Ah, don't forget to breathe. All right, so from here, bringing this hand underneath to open up. And last but not least, take the hand to the ceiling and look up. Nice job, hand comes down, bring that leg back in. 
Woo! That felt really good. Okay. I'm gonna go into a sideline position. I'm gonna lay on my side. And because my head needs to be neutral, I'm gonna take an object, a towel, in my case a yoga block, and I'm just gonna lay my head on that so I have something to stabilize, all right? I've got my ball out here, because I'm gonna show you how to use this. You can use a towel if you want to, but I've got my knees bent, okay? I'm using the ball, and I'm pushing the ball away from me. Pushing the ball away from me. With my top hand, I'm going to take my hand, and I'm gonna open up as I look away. Coming back together. Now we're going to try that again, except now we're going to play with the ball a little bit. So we're reaching, reaching, reaching that ball away from us. Get that ball away from your body as much as you can with those two hands. With the top hand, you're going to lift and open. And to keep that ball there, we're going to take the top leg forward. We're going to place it underneath our foot as we continue to open up. I know, some of you can't get here, it's okay. If you can only get to here, we'll take it. Or maybe some of you are just here. Breathe out and let that air open you up. And with all of you that can get your leg out there, then you can take the other hand and pull your toes, pull your toes towards your nose. Nice job, bringing that leg back down. All right, from here, I want you to open up that leg. So we're stretching out the inner thighs, bringing it back to, all right? Reach that ball, open up that leg. As far as you can take it without falling, bring it back across. Push, open up. Nice job, now go ahead and open all the way across as far as you can take it. And coming back to you. Fantastic work. All right, we're gonna switch sides. This is our last exercise. Really good chest opener. I teach this to a lot of clients. Lay on our side. Head is elevated just a little bit. Ball, knees are bent. Push that ball away from your body. Push, push, push. Now open up that hand. Getting as far as you can go. Now look at your hand. Closing it back up. Reach that ball across. Reach, reach, reach. Reaching with those fingertips. Lift, lift, lift. Open. Take that top leg wherever you can find that ball. And get that ball as far away from your body as you can while you're opening up. If you want to grab that foot with your hand. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe out. Grabbing that ball, bringing back in, opening back up, nice job. So from here, we're reaching that ball, opening up that knee, opening up that hip. Coming back down. Try that again, reach, open, let that leg come all the way up this time. Closing back up. Last time, reach, open all the way up. Take it a little further, as far as you can take it. Nice. All right. In order to keep opening up these inner thighs, we're gonna get on our hands and knees. I told you the other one was the last one, but I gotta finish this one out right. We're gonna take our knees, and we're gonna open up our knees to the sides, and from here, we're gonna take this ball, or whatever you have, towel or hands, and we're going to stretch out, roll, as you sit back on those heels, dropping your body as close to the floor as you can get it. Nice job, bringing it back in. Good. If you wanna go without the ball, you can step it out using those arms, reaching.
pulling it back in. Awesome job. All right, my friends, that was 35 minutes. Toning, barefoot balance, mobility, opening everything up, putting our body through extraordinary recovery. Our stress hormones come down when we do that. Our happy hormones take a shoot through the roof, basically. Um, we get uh, oxytocin, serotonin, which is 80% a gut hormone, and that endorphin rush where you're gonna feel that amazing, the, the amazing what they refer to as the runner's high. It's just that feel good, ah, moment. Some of you might be like super stressed, life sucks right now. Um, doing these kind of exercises just lets go of that tension. And when you have a lot of that tension inside of your body that clamps down on all those muscles and it keeps you from being able to move and being able to think and being able to breathe. So by being open, thinking deep within yourself and getting long and opening up and recovering, that's what's gonna give you your best health going forward. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope to see you the rest of the week. We're gonna pick up the kickboxing stuff again, um, get into some really good toning exercises that are balanced incorporated, um, and go from there. So if you have any special requests, please make sure and reach out to me. Otherwise, remember to look at your life as to what you have, not what you don't have, and have a great day.